Hello, I've been away for a while, so I have several things I want to talk about. First, in this video, I'll tell you about two trips to Tucson, Arizona for Thanksgiving and Christmas last year. And in the next video, I want to talk about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. So during the holidays at the end of 2020, I spent about four weeks in Arizona, first visiting my parents for seven days for Thanksgiving. Then I went home to Southern California for 10 nights. Then I went back to Tucson for three weeks in December. So that's a long time to be gone, but I didn't have to take much vacation time since school was closed for two weeks and I'm working remotely anyway, so I was able to get some work done while I was away. The biggest highlight of my trip was that I got to spend lots of time with my family and it was a really great time being with them, so I'm really glad I got to do that. I'm going to show you several groups of pictures. First, I really enjoyed the car trips back and forth. Second, I brought my telescope and took advantage of the dark skies there. And third, I worked on a scanning project where I digitized lots of old photos. So I'm going to show you some of those. First, here are a few photos from my trips. I really like to drive back and forth between Southern California and Tucson. Here's a couple of pictures of that drive. I stopped in this uh, gem shop called Gem World. It's this huge gem shop with all kinds of interesting things to look at. Uh, it's the size of a warehouse and they have all kinds of interesting things there. This is me arriving at my parents' house in Tucson. I really like the desert scenery there. These are some pictures from my parents' backyard. I really like this picture. It's the mountains near my parents' house. I think my brother-in-law took this picture. We hiked to the top of Push Peak. This is us going up the hill. They have cables um, in the really steep parts there. And once you get up there, you can see really far away. So it's kind of cool. There, there I am near the top. Or No, this is more like halfway up. One day we went to Phoenix and we saw the Arizona State Capitol and I introduced my parents to Peruvian food. They'd never had lomo saltado, so we had some there. It was really good. Here are a couple more pictures of us hiking. I think this is near the Dove Canyon Resort. I drove back home to Southern California on New Year's Eve, and here's a picture I took in Southern San Diego County right along the Mexican border. Just some cool things to see there. Took a couple pictures, little video. This is my car, took a picture of my car. I like this road. I'll show you on a map exactly where it is, but this is just a small little road. I took a detour. Since I took the southern route, I stopped in San Diego to look at a couple of the ships there. This is the Midway. It's now a museum, but it was an aircraft carrier in World War II. Then I watched the sunset over the ocean, the last sunset of 2020. And it was interesting because there were a handful of people there. And as the sun set, people cheered and clapped. It was kind of like everybody was glad to see the end of 2020. Then I went to Mission Bay to hang out uh, with my cousin and her husband, hung out with them for a little bit just to celebrate the end of the year. Then we watched the moon rise. I think it was near a full moon, so I saw the last sunset of 2020 and the first moon rise of 2020. Uh, within a couple hours, I was home before midnight to celebrate the new year. My parents live about 10 miles north of Tucson, where it's pretty dark outside at night. So we spent a couple of evenings looking at stars through my telescope. And one evening, we all sat outside watching the Geminid meteor shower, so that was kind of cool. We also saw the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn and my brother-in-law took this photo of the uh, moon through our neighbor's telescope. Finally, I spent some of the days working on a huge scanning project, digitizing several thousand photographs, mainly from the 1980s and 1990s, after slides and before digital cameras. But I also spent some time taking pictures of some really old photographs and documents. Here's a picture of me and of my dad, and there is the scanner we used. We also had to spend a bunch of time getting photos out of albums and putting them back together again. But I want to show you some of the old photos because those I think would be interesting. Yeah, look how old these are. 1887, 1888. These are some of my ancestors. She's not smiling very much. Somebody said, why didn't she smile for the photo? I said, she is smiling. That's what it was like in 1890. This one is a wedding in Westminster, California in 1891. This autobiography was written in 1897 by my great-great-grandfather. He's my mother's mother's father's father, Aaron Milton Byram. 
Here's a story in that autobiography about how they locked the teacher out of the one-room schoolhouse during recess on Christmas Day, demanding cookies be made for them on New Year's Day. I'll just skip through a couple more interesting old pictures. 1941, some of my great great grand. This is my dad's family. Uh, that's him on the bottom left and his、uh, parents and siblings from 1971. That's me. This is one of the first houses I lived in when we were in Mexico.、Uh, and my dad there is、uh, chopping some wood to put up a door. We only lived there for about five weeks. Another picture of me with my mother and siblings, but I won't bore you with all those kinds of things. So, but we had a good time scanning a bunch of pictures, and it's been fun to kind of look through them since then. I had a great time being away,、uh, hanging out with family, and it was nice that they delayed the beginning of the school semester by two weeks. So I still had plenty of time to get ready for the beginning of the school year when I got back. Now we've been in school for a couple of weeks, and things are mostly back to normal. So. That was my vacation. Next, I want to talk about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. I'm thinking of making a guide to the basics of Bitcoin on my main channel, but I'm going to show you guys a preview version here first. So that'll be my next video.、Um, until then, goodbye for now. I'll see you then.